Uh, what's up, YouTube? For your own convenience in the dark zone, I have decided to try and mark most of the locations for where the named enemies or the bosses are that drop superior loot. Uh, and you can do these in a certain circuit. You can do them in your own little way. You can go in a square if you want. You can go clockwise, counterclockwise, however you want. Um, but in this video, you will notice that uh, there's not a lot of the enemies in the locations that I go to, and that's because they're usually dead. Um, to make sure that they're there or not and save some time, you can use the pulse skill if you're not afraid of other players shooting at you. It will pulse the building and the location, and it will show you if they're in there or not, and you can either keep going or try and just go straight to the boss, kill the boss, get out of there. Um, or you can just kill them all for the experience and loot and get out of there also. Uh, but most of the time, everyone else in that same district is also going to be doing the same thing that you're doing, and that's killing those bosses in either the same circuit that you're doing or a different one. Um, so you can either decide to wait for the boss to spawn or just run to the next one, see if he's there. The pulse skill really helps. This is not a hard thing to do by yourself. I've been doing it by myself and I haven't even had 30 dark zone yet. Um, I'm around 24. I have hit level 30 and I have also noticed that there's not a lot of hostile players in the higher level dark zone areas and that's because the AXP progress becomes very slow and, and, and very punishing if you kill another player and die while you have a bounty over your head you're going to lose a lot of experience and I believe everyone has kind of realized this because day one uh, there was guys running around and just being complete assholes killing everybody that they could and uh, I've been running around the dark zone for the past three days uh, grinding these bosses and nobody's really been shooting at each other and any of the rogue players that I have killed haven't really had any items or anything like that to really have any sort of punishment aside from experience and everyone that I have been playing with has really decided to just stay non-hostile because the experience is just way too punishing to lose if you die and since everyone is non-hostile and you don't get any kind of punishment for killing a hostile player actually you get more experience I've noticed that you get hunted down by other squads and you get hunted down very quickly, especially if you're by yourself. I've noticed that if you're in a group and your full group is um, rogue, you won't get hunted as much because people will assume that you're obviously effective at what you're doing or you've got some kind of setup to protect yourself from other players if another squad tries to attack you. I've never had an issue of getting attacked in a squad while hostile or while rogue, but when solo, I've noticed uh, I even hunt down the solo rogue players and they get killed very quickly. A lot of them don't even make it out of their timers. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is only the first district, level 30 to 30. Uh, higher up, it gets a lot harder around level 32, 31. Of course, the drops are a lot better. And I, again, I don't think that many of the players are really killing each other in that zone either. Uh, unless they're like alternate accounts to where they really don't have to worry about their dark zone rank that much I can imagine people being a little bit more uh, hostile in a situation like that because that's again less punishment but um, Hope this video helped uh, I'll see you guys next time <laughs>